Alright, so I'm going to show you how to make a few breakables and a few different types of doors. Um, simplest thing, first thing is, after making that last box, I added a few walls. This one has the opening for a window, and this one has the opening for a door. I'm going to have to make another one. So, I will grab right here. Since I've selected the tallest brush possible, it will fill up the whole area. I'll take this make the brush to here and make another one there just to complete the wall whoops use the glass texture oh well that's simple enough to fix go to Abbey 2 select the wood texture and there you go now what I want to do is make this breakable window here select something the same size or near the same size so it gives you a easier time to put the window in. So that, I'll have to go select my texture, my glass texture. Shader, actually. That's the glass. Now, if you have it selected, you can go into the grid, right click on it, and go to Funk, Funk Breakable. The default sound whenever something's breakable is glass sound. But just in case you're changing the sound, you will go type and for glass it's zero so it tells you right here which each one is right there um, for example if you want a piece of metal that you can just shoot and break normal metal four so if you want to break it with a explosive five okay um, from there since you already got your bro breakable door or breakable glass you can do your door here's the I make a brush that fits the hole make sure it's the right texture you want I will use that and to make it the texture fit on it I use I press S then I go to fit which just basically stretches the brush as big as the or stretches the texture as big as the brush then what I do is go to the grid right click on the grid go to uh, funk door then that just makes it so it either slides sideways either direction or up or down to set which direction it goes you go into your entities list go to angle and set a key of, or value of negative one for up negative two for down and one and two are left and right I'll set it at a negative one so it's gonna slide up whenever I press the button on it okay so for this door I'm gonna make it a rotating door you have your big door brush going to make the texture fit and then you need to have a origin brush which is in your common go see there's origin right there you make one single square of it right there so it's in the door and then but on the very end then you select both brushes go funk rotating door and it will rotate whenever you hit press the button on it but to se select which direction it goes you can force it to go one direction or you can make it go either way which if you leave it alone it will go either way but just to show you something how you can force it you can go direction with a value of negative one or one so I want it to go counterclockwise or clockwise so I'll just do a negative one from there you should be able to load up the, load this up in game and test it out for that before you can load it up in the game you must go to build and build it but that's another video have fun bye bye